Hi, Dan, congratulations, and it's really an honor to have you in the Hall of Fame this year. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, obviously, you've coached for a lot of years. Uh, what individuals had the greatest influence on you to, to get you involved in the sport of wrestling? Well, uh, my dad uh, encouraged me to wrestle my freshman year in high school, Belfont, Pennsylvania. He was actually overseas in the Air Force in Thailand, had a lot of influence on me. And in Pennsylvania, I wanted to play basketball, but in Pennsylvania you wrestle. So yeah. he was a big influence. And then throughout my career, uh, I had some coaches and teammates and uh, just a lot of people that helped me along the way. Uh, Armand Brad at Chico State right. was a teammate and, and an assistant coach for me. And I learned a lot from him. And I learned a lot from some of the coaches uh, around me when I was a young coach, Max Birch and uh, Dennis Helm, some of those guys in our section. Right. Yeah. And uh, being from Pennsylvania, where some of your wrestling idols from the East Coast growing up, who would they be? Well, you know, I just started my freshman year, and then I came to California my sophomore oh, yeah. year. So, okay. yeah, most of the wrestlers I knew of were West Coast, but uh, of course Dan Gable uh, was the one most of us watched at that time. Absolutely. Yeah. So what got you involved in wrestling? Just because you're from Pennsylvania and that was the thing to do? My dad said he wanted me to wrestle. That's why I wrestled. And then uh, even my the start of my uh, second year, I struggled a little bit. I, I lost my first 10 matches in a row as a freshman. I was 80 pounds wrestling 95. And, oh then my sophomore year, I actually grew and had to cut a little weight to make 103s, or 95s it was then. And, uh, and I lost my first match out here and then didn't lose too many after that. I won the section my sophomore year and went to state, so, yeah. Uh, what attribute of your character was key to the success that you've had through the years? Well, my dad, uh, taught me that anything worthwhile is worth, worth working hard for. And uh, I, worked, I worked hard as, a, as an athlete. Uh, I look back, wish I would have worked harder than I did. But, uh, and we worked pretty hard as, as coaches, too, in, in the early days, especially. Yeah. Uh, what's the one outstanding situation or memory you have involving you know, your time in the sport? Oh, boy. Uh, Probably the ones I remember the most vividly are some of the tough losses. Uh, mm -hmm. I lost to a national champion from Oregon State, uh, Tom Phillips, up at Oregon State. Uh, I was ahead 9-7 uh, with about 20 seconds to go, and uh, he had about 55 seconds riding time. He took me down with six seconds to go to tie at 9 up, got the six seconds riding time, beat me 10-9. Mm -hmm. And uh, I should have stalled, but that wasn't my nature. <laughs> right. Uh, Why did you decide to become a coach? Well, I think I knew I wanted to be a coach when I was about 10 years old. My dad had been a baseball coach, and uh, I looked at my teachers and coaches, and they were people I admired. And, uh, and so early on, I knew that if I didn't make it in pro baseball, that I wanted that to goal, teach huh? and coach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, if you were to do things over again as a coach or a wrestler, would you do anything differently? Yeah, as a, as a wrestler, I would have worked harder than I did, and I probably wouldn't have cut as much weight. I'd have probably uh, not gone through that as much. But as a coach, if I could change one thing, I was a little too intense as a young man and uh, didn't understand that the real value was in the relationships with the kids and not the wins and losses. And as I uh, went along, uh, I learned that uh, it was people that you need to care about and the wins and losses would take care of themselves. Yeah, yeah. that's always a great lesson to learn. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Uh, what would you like people to remember about Dan Eckley? Uh, that he uh, loved his kids his athletes, and uh, he loved his Lord. Uh, I'm now a pastor, and I've been a Christian most of my life. And, uh, and uh, you know, one thing I'm going to say in my speech tonight is that the legacy I hope we left is that we 
really loved and cared about and valued every kid in the program, whether he was a state champion, which we had a couple of those, or he was a third string freshman or a stat girl or a, a special ed student manager. Uh, and I'm, I'm just uh, thankful for all the kids we got to work with and the families we were involved with. Yeah, I bet. And uh, quite a few of them through the years. That's right, 25 years we had quite a few. Well, once again, congratulations, Dan, uh, on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you very much.